Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the crossed ripple stitch. And this is a stitch that has some great texture in it and it's made simply out of double crochet uh, stitches and chain stitches. Um, these are the double crochet stitches and they're actually kind of worked uh, on an angle to give you this crossed over effect. So today we're going to learn how to crochet the crossed ripple stitch. Grab your hook and some yarn and let's crochet. So thank you so much for joining me and if you're new to my channel please feel free to subscribe using the little button there in the right hand corner of this screen and uh, I like to update my channel weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. I'm so happy that you're here. So for our crossed ripple stitch today, we are going to need a multiple of three stitches plus two. And uh, then for our foundation chain, we're going to add an extra one stitch. So if you're working this stitch in the mid middle of a project, you'll just need a multiple of three stitches plus two. But if you are starting from scratch as we are today and you need a foundation chain, you're just going to add one extra stitch. So it'll be a multiple of three um, for the foundation chain. Today I'm going to start by chaining 18 stitches. There's nine. Fifteen. 18. For row one, you're going to begin by single crocheting in the second chain from hook and then in each stitch all the way across. So count in from your hook. There's one, two, work your first single crochet stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. For row two, you are going to chain three and turn your work. Now your chain three at the beginning of your row here will count as a double crochet stitch, so you will treat it as such. You're going to skip that first single crochet stitch that your chain three is coming out of, and you're going to skip the next two stitches. So there's one and two. Now in that next stitch, you're going to place one double crochet stitch. chain one and then working back in the first two stitches that you skipped so this is the first one there's one two here that first stitch that you skipped working back in that stitch you're going to place one double crochet stitch so work backward you're going to bring your hook back to that first stitch that you skipped you're going to kind of double crochet over the top uh, of the double crochet you just worked and work one double crochet stitch. So now you'll see that in your fabric you have kind of an X. You have two double crochet stitches that are crossed over one another. You're then going to repeat. You're going to skip the next two stitches. So one, two, double crochet in that next stitch, chain one, working back in the first of the two single crochet stitches that you just skipped in that first single crochet stitch, double crochet. And you've made another crossed double crochet stitch. Continue that all the way across. So skip to the next two single crochet, one, two, in that next stitch, double crochet stitch, chain one, now working back in those two stitches that you just skipped, work one single crochet stitch in the first of those two stitches. And repeat. Skip the next two stitches, double crochet in the next, chain one, in the first of the two single crochet stitches you missed, 
double crochet skip the next two stitches double crochet in the last stitch chain one double crochet in the first single crochet stitch that you skipped when you come to your final single crochet stitch in your row you're simply going to work one double crochet stitch and that is row two for row three you're going to chain one you're going to turn your work and you're going to single crochet in each stitch and chain one space all the way across so single crochet in that first stitch in your second stitch and then you come to a chain space work a single crochet in that chain stitch so one single crochet in each stitch and each chain stitch all the way across remember when you come to your starting chain three it is a stitch so you're going to place your final single crochet stitch in the top of that chain three for row four, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. Next, you're going to skip the first single crochet that your chain is worked out of, and you're going to skip the next two single crochet stitches, just as we did before. You're then going to uh, double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to chain one and we're going to work a double crochet stitch as we did before that's crossed over however this time instead of working in the single crochet stitch in the row below you're actually going to work around the post of the first double crochet stitch down below Okay, so you have that first single crochet stitch that you skip just below it you'll have a double crochet stitch that's part of your cross stitch down below and you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch around it so yarn over then bring your hook down and working around the post you're going to insert your hook from right to left yarn over and drop a loop around that post you're going to want to keep your fabric from curling to pull that up a little bit taller you're then going to yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops completing your double crochet stitch and that is your front post double crochet stitch you now have it raised above the rest of the fabric to give yourself that crossed uh, texture you're going to then skip the next two stitches double crochet in the next stitch chain one and you're going to do that front post double crochet stitch once again so yarn over back at uh, the, the, in the first of the single crochet stitches that you just skipped you'll see that double crochet stitch down below you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of that double crochet stitch two rows below, right to left, yarn over and drop a loop. Draw it a little bit higher up, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more. Skip the next two stitches and double crochet. Chain one, front post, double crochet around the first of the two double crochet stitches down below skip the next two stitches double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to repeat this all the way across When you come to your final double, uh, final single crochet stitch in that row, you're going to complete one double crochet stitch in that final stitch. And that brings you to the end of row four. From now on, you are simply going to repeat 
rows three and four for the length of your pattern. So I'll go over that one more time. Row three was your chain one, turn your work and you'll work one single crochet in each stitch and each chain space all the way across. When you come to the end, don't forget to work your final single crochet stitch in the top of that chain three. And that brings you to the end of row three, your repeat. So row four, you're going to chain three and turn your work. That counts as a double crochet stitch. And you're going to skip the uh, next two single crochet stitches, work one double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, and a front post double crochet stitch around the first of the two double crochet stitches, two rows below. And that is your row four. So uh, skip the next two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double front post double crochet around the first of the two double crochet stitches down below. So that is all there is to this pattern. You are going to continue to repeat rows three and four for as long as you desire. And that is the crossed ripple stitch. Thank you so much once again for joining me. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.